Hey, <laughs> long time no speak. Um, Bertie's here helping today. I've just started recording and he's just like, yeah, I'm coming to help you. So this is Mr. Bertie Bacharach. Hello. <laughs> um, are you going to move, mate? Okay, we'll sit there for now. Um, I was out with a friend yesterday and she said to me, oh, you've not posted many videos on YouTube recently. She said you posted some like gaming ones and obviously my channel's a gaming channel, but none of you yourself. And I was like, do you know what? I haven't. Um, it's because I've been so busy. Work's been manic. Like work's been really busy. Home's been really busy. Um, and I've just not really had a chance. I've been doing a few shorts and stuff and that's it. So I thought I'd just do um, a quick update really. Um, today I wanted to go to the car boots, so there wasn't much on, um, well, most of them, the fields were waterlogged and stuff and they'd been cancelled. So I treated myself to a little trip to Dagfields, which is a little, uh, antiques emporium that does collectibles and stuff that's quite close to me. I've talked about this before, it's just on the outskirts of Nantwich, I think I've talked about it in previous videos. Um, but yeah, so I went there today, uh, just to see what I could find there. So interestingly, well, interesting, not interestingly, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot more stalls that are selling like toys and stuff now, like retro toys. Uh, so Ghostbusters, Transformers, Turtles, all the stuff that we grew up with and me being a bit of a tomboy growing up, the stuff that I loved as well. Um, with my brother, we used to just, um, we'd collect them between us. Um, to be honest, I think I used to take a lot of his toys and say they were mine. I wasn't into dolls and stuff growing up that wasn't me obviously gamer girl um but yeah it was uh it, it is a good little it's not even little it's quite a big place um loads of little hidey holes of things and they sell the standard antiques and stuff as well but um i decided today i was walking around and i've been to these i go there all the time like i'm there a couple of times a month just sticking my head in to see what there is and see if there's any new stuff and they do have a few snares games. Um, there's some NES games. There's some retro games. The, the camera's shaking because the cat's having a scratch. Bertie, do you mind? Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that. but what you have to remember is these places, they're, they're dealers, so they know how much they're selling stuff for. So they will pick them up at Car Boots and eBay in the same places that we do and then sell them on. So you really have to have your wits about you and understand and know the cost of things before you go in or at least Google them while you're there um, if you can get a signal because it is a little bit out in the sticks. So I went a bit off piste today. Um, there is a little bookshop there called Cavern Books. Now I've walked past it a million times. It's massive, like it's huge. He's got so many books in there. He's got more books than I think the Nantwich Library. Like he's got so much stuff in there and it's quite overwhelming when you go in. He does LPs, he does um, CDs and stuff as well. Um, but the books, are just, it's incredible the amount he's got everything absolutely everything so I thought I'll stick my head in and see if he's got any like gaming books because what I am after I had some little Sonic books when I was growing up um Sonic the Hedgehog story books that I misplaced over the years and I used to love them like I just love them again it's Sonic anything to do with Sonic and I love, love Sonic Blue Nails um but couldn't see anything like that I looked in the kids books and stuff and then I found an area that was like um you know, sci-fi stuff like Doctor Who and Star Wars, Star Trek, that sort of thing. Um, but I did find a computer games video book. So, The Essential Guide. I had a little flick through it and thought, oh, I've got to get this. This is from just coming out of the 16-bit era. So it's talking about um, the PlayStation UK release, like, 95. So we're talking early 90s here for this, for this, uh, like, book my I guess you, it's a manual I guess um it's just got loads of different games and oh it's got road rash <laughs> sorry I only flipped through it look so these were like at the time will have been um like groundbreaking we know how, what it was like when we were growing up so um yeah there's Doom in here and Jurassic Park and all these new titles that are coming soon that it's talking about so it's really interesting it's a really um it's like a snapshot in time oh look there's Mortal Kombat as well like, it looks really good, doesn't it? So I'm going to enjoy reading that one. Um, yeah, there's loads in it. Oh, theme park. So, sorry, not, not a very interesting video. I'm just going to go, oh, look at this. Look at that. Um, and the other one that I got. Now, this is totally, totally going to surprise some of you. Um, 
I I wasn't the most girly girl. I said it at the start of the video, I'm not a girly girl. I am a girly girl now. Well, I never used to be. I used to be quite a tomboy. But one of the things that I did love growing up, I liked the Jane Austen novels, Pride and Prejudice in particular. Um, and this guy, he was so helpful in this bookshop. So I asked him, I went and asked if he'd got any more gaming books or anything like that. And he was finding a few bits and pieces, but not really what I was after. Uh, like he found some World of Warcraft stuff and he was pointing different things out, but not really what I was after. And then I just said to him, on the off chance, have you got a very old copy of Pride and Prejudice? Because I've got a new version of it that I was bought, um, but I'd just quite like a, an older version of that book or any of the Jane Austen novels, really. And he was like, oh, I did have a really big book that was an illustrated limited edition uh, book, um, but I think I sold it. So I went and we were walking around having a little look and he found it. Honestly, this is the biggest book I think ever. And I went to Catholic school, so I know about big books and like hymns and stuff. Look at the size of this. It's all of Jane Austen's novels illustrated. It's not massively old, but it's one in 7,000. So uh, I, I just bought that and I know I know this is a retro gaming channel, but for me, one of my comfort places as a kid, not only was the gaming stuff, was my Jane Austen books. That, you know, it was just one of those that I just, I've got an attachment to it. So that to me is a nostalgia, as much as it's probably boring you guys, but yeah, look at the size of it's huge. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, and I was expecting to say it was like 60, 70 quid, but it was, he'd got it for 50 quid and that book was seven and he did them both for me for, I think it was 42 quid, something like that. He was lovely, such a nice bloke. Got chatting to him. He goes the same car boots that I do. Um, he does the, exactly the same as what we do, going out hunting book for books and LPs and stuff. So if you are ever in that neck of the woods, go in and see him. He was so lovely. I'll be going back again. He says he regularly gets new stuff. So uh, new old stuff like we do. <laughs> so yeah, I've got those. Um, other than that, really, I've been quite boring. I've been playing on my Xbox um, a lot. I've downloaded yesterday. I was watching a streamer and I can't think what his name was on Twitch the other day. Um, he was a speedrunner and wow, this guy's incredible. Like you could see he was he was speedrunning Sandopolis zone and he was trying to figure out how to cut different bits and pieces off. And he was like, oh, I couldn't shave a second here. And he was voicing it over. I was like, wow, this guy's good. Um, but he was running it as Amy. And just by watching him play as Amy, he did the Hidden Palace as Amy. He was trying to get the world record on that. I think he was like, he was in the top 20, like the one that he was running. And I was like, I need to get download Amy. I need to get the expansion on Sonic Origins. So I'm going to be doing a few Sonic Origin videos soon, I think, uh, with the extra. Um, I've already done, I've had a quick run through Emerald Hill, only very quickly. I've not done the emeralds and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can get Super Amy, see what she looks like, if you can get Super Amy, because you never used to be able to get Super Tails. So fingers crossed. I'm imagining they will do. She runs really well. She runs like you're playing as Sonic, but she's got the hammer. It's, um, she does seem to have an advantage, but she's quite little. She's a lot smaller than the other characters as well. So I'll be doing that and you will have seen in my one of my recent videos I cleaned up some of the cartridges so um, I go to that retro game shop in Tunstall um, quite a lot to pick up my games again he's another guy who's really helpful if he hasn't got a copy of the game I was after Sonic and Knuckles for a while um, and I ended up buying it from him a, a really good copy of it but he didn't have it originally and he was looking locally to see if he could find it for me. So if you're ever in Tunstall, which is near Soko Trent, well, it's Soko Trent, um, go in and see him. But I asked him because I'd got my old cartridges, like my Sonic, all of my cartridges that have been in the garage for years um, that weren't working. And I think they, I thought they had perished. I didn't think they were working anymore because I've got a working Mega Drive. I bought games from him that worked and then my cartridges weren't working. So I was like, They've, they've obviously some water's got into them or something so I asked him how he cleaned them because my friend Scotty so Mr Marathon Gaming he suggested these cleaning kits you could get for your cartridges all out of stock couldn't get hold of them I've been watching YouTube videos they're saying clean them with isopropanol and um, this that and the other but don't use this isopropanol because it will damage them and I'm just like what the hell do I clean them with because I don't want to do something that damages them so I asked this guy in Tunstall and he said what he uses is water with a very small amount of uh, soap in it like a really tiny amount um and on a cotton bud and then wring the cotton bud out and then clean the the pins um very gently which is what i did and it worked 
I'm not recommending you guys do it. I'm just saying that's what worked for me because I don't want you to go away and try it and then it not um, like damage your cartridges or something. But I thought it was worth a go because I thought they were broken. And Sonic 3 still has my save data on from like the 90s. So that was really quite, I was really pleased about that. Sonic and Knuckles is working, but when I plug Sonic 3 in, the save data has disappeared from when I was a, a kid. So I will just have to redo that. But again, um, I will update you with progress on that as and when I do it. So uh, yeah, all in all, um, been quite busy, but I just thought I'd show my face because I've not uh, spoken to you properly for a while. The other thing is we've got next weekend, we're at the Knots Gaming Festival. I will put a link into it below this video. Um, I am going there with Mr. 16 Bits and Bobs, Mr. Marathon Gaming, The Talk. We're going with him, Rampage Talk. Uh, Gold Tooth Gaming should be there, hopefully. He said he would be. Um, I don't know who else is going, um, but it'll be. There's quite a few people on the agenda as well, so it's well worth a look. So, uh, yeah, I am heading there next weekend. So, hopefully, I'll pick up some new games, some new cartridges, find some old games that I loved, and um, yeah, hopefully, find some good stuff. But until then, um, I will post a video about that. I, f I feel like I've been neglecting you now after my friend Gina said it. And uh, yeah, I was talking to her about retro games last night. She was my gaming buddy when we were growing up. And um, she's been in the loft today and dug out all of her old games just because I've inspired her. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice that people are getting involved. So that's me. I will catch up with you all soon. Bye.